Hey guys, welcome back, hope you're all well. So today I wanna to talk to you about the setup in my game room and the consoles I have and what TVs and sound systems are using and also what cables I'm using to connect everything up. This is something I've been thinking about recently. You guys, like myself, do videos talking about games and the consoles and the nostalgia, but I don't really see anyone ever talking about what systems they're using, what TVs they're using, what stereos they're using, if they're using stereos at all or if they're just pumping the sound out of TV. And also, more importantly, what cables you're using for your video and your audio. So I thought it'd be an interesting topic to talk about. So I'm going to show you what I've got and how I've got my setup at the moment. Let me know in the comments below what consoles you've got set up, how you've got them set up. Are you using a stereo? What type of TV are you using? CRT, modern LCD plasma? Or if you make videos, that would be absolutely fantastic if you could do a video response and actually show me that. I'd love to see that, guys. So, yeah, let's crack on. And first of all, I'm going to tell you about the systems I've currently got set up and the TVs and stereos that I'm using for them. So in the background, you may be able to see at the moment a couple of the systems in the TV. I've got my Commodore Amiga 500 computer set up, uh, which I absolutely love. Getting loads of fun out of that. Then we have the consoles, which are the Nintendo Wii, Black Wii, great console. We have the Sony PlayStation, which is taking up most of my time at the moment. I'm getting a massive nostalgic buzz, buzz from playing on that and uh, yeah, really enjoying the PlayStation. Got the Japanese Model 1 Mega Drive, another fantastic console to you know, scratch that 16-bit itch. And then of course my favorite console of all time, the Japanese Super Famicom or the Japanese Super Nintendo. So those are the consoles I've got set up over there. They are connected up to a old CRT TV. It's a Sony Trinitron 29-inch TV. Uh, it's a beast, it weighs a ton, but it's a fantastic TV. I got it free a few, a few years ago now on the free cycle. Uh, which for anyone outside of the, uh, the UK is a website where you just go on and people just basically list anything they want to get rid of and give away for free and you just go and collect it. Next up is the sound system. Now, obviously these CRT TVs do give great sound quality so you don't really need to have a sound system but for me personally, I like a nice stereo sound. So recently you will have seen me on a previous video picking up a JVC stack stereo system which is fantastic. You've got the, it's a separate CD player, a separate record player, and you've got the amplifier with graphic equalizer, tape deck, and tuner. And it's absolutely fantastic. It's not really powerful, but it certainly does a good job. And after a lot of messing with the graphic equalizer, I've managed to get a really nice rich sound out of it, good bit of thumping bass, and it makes my console sound great. And the CD player is actually pretty good for a really old CD player. I'm, not, I'm quite surprised by that one. So that's that side of the room. On the other side of the room, I've got two consoles set up. First of all, I've got the Crystal Xbox, which was given to me by my good mate Jay, Cybersnake7. I think I say that every time I mention the Xbox, but you know, it was one hell of a gift, and you know, Jay, you're a top man, so thank you very much for that. Uh, awesome YouTuber. Next to that, I've got my slim PlayStation 3, favorite console last generation, phenomenal console, so many great games, you know, cross-platform and exclusive. And they are set up and connected to a 42-inch LG LCD. Uh, it's a very low end part, uh, low end TV, not expensive, but it's a great picture for what I need to get out of the PS3 and the Xbox. I'm quite happy with it, it's a good teller. And those are connected up to a Sony home theater system from back in the day. It's a 2.1 home theater system, consisting of two speakers, massive subwoofer, which controls everything, has HDMI inputs, optical inputs, coaxial input, has analog RCA audio input. It's really great, it ticks all the boxes and it's got a really nice powerful sound as well. So it does do the PS3 justice. I was really surprised how good it sounds actually. And so yeah, that's the consoles, the TVs, and the sound systems. Now, in terms of actually connecting everything up and cables, I like to have decent cables when connecting up my system. So when it comes to the retro systems, RGB is always what I strive for. And luckily the systems that I currently own all natively output RGB, so I don't need to modify them, which is fantastic. So I went to retrogamingcables.co.uk for the Mega Drive, the Super Famicom and the PlayStation and I picked up three C-Sync RGB SCART cables. Now this company are absolutely fantastic, I've got to recommend them because the cables are a decent price, they're exceptional quality, the picture and sound from them is phenomenal, the C-Sync picture is definitely worth the upgrade, they're absolutely superb. And also the customer service, they are really nice people and they do fast delivery, highly recommend them. Not being paid by them or anything by that, but I just really like their service, so I want to give them a plug. So I've got those for those three consoles, and then for the Amiga 500, I have the RGB SCART cable that I picked up a while ago now from Retro Computer Shack on eBay, who's basically the best place 
to get an Amiga SCART from. There, there isn't a lot of options when I've looked around for RGB SCART and he's someone who does an absolutely great quality SCART cable so I always recommend that for the Amiga. Unfortunately you can't get C-Sync from the Amiga as far as I'm aware from what I've read. And then for the Wii, I've just got the official Nintendo SCART RGB, which is absolutely fantastic. Obviously with the Wii, you've got many options. I could have put it on the other side of the room. I do have component cables, and I also have the Wii to HDMI adapter. But personally, I, I don't really think it looks that great with component and Wii. People will argue different. It does look nice. I personally prefer the way it looks on a RGB output. So, I mean, it is standard definition after all. So that's the video side. Now with the audio, normally I would have just bog standard red and white RCA out of my SCART switcher into the back of the, the stereo. You know, the, the kind of cables that we all use that are dirt cheap, you can get them on eBay for a couple of pennies. But recently I thought, you know what, I'm gonna see if I can actually get a better RCA cable. Because in the past, I've always been pretty anal when it comes to like HDMI cables and optical cables and all the, the modern home theater cables to try and get the best I can afford. I know now that obviously HDMI it's all a load of bollocks really, it's all a big con, but there you go. Nonetheless, someone's gonna argue with me there in the comments, I'm sure they will, but generally, you just go for a high speed HDMI and you're fine. But with the RCA, I've never looked into getting anything better because I've never seen the point really. But I found a company on Amazon in America and it's called Foz Power, these cables. I assume that's the name of the company as well. But they're Foz Power RCA cables. They're not expensive at all. It's a nice little upgrade to the standard cables. Really nice looking cables in nice jackets, good weight to them. And I must admit, I have actually noticed a considerable difference in sound. It is a lot cleaner, a lot clearer, and I was, I was quite impressed. I've also got a pair of cables that I bought from my vinyl as well. So I've got those connected from my turntable to my sound system. And yeah, it definitely made a difference with that as well. So I was very impressed. And the one I've got connected up to my retro cable, uh, consoles is a two meter cable. Cost me $5.99, I believe, so not an expensive cable, and I believe it's free postage as well. So yeah, absolutely fantastic. And then, in terms of the, the SCART switcher itself, I have a, obviously a SCART going from the switcher through to the TV. Now, it's all right putting all these great C-Sync RGB SCARTs and other RGB SCARTs into your switcher, but you only get out what you put in. So you need a decent cable to come out of there into the TV. So I picked up a fantastic Ixus SCART cable. Now back in the day, this would have cost a few quid because this was a, a high grade home theater SCART. But they're dirt cheap now. There's a guy flogging a load of them sealed for $5.99 on eBay. So I grabbed one, free delivery as well from what I can remember. And yeah, I was absolutely blown away by the output. The, as you can probably see in the background, hopefully, if it's going across well on the camera, uh, the video quality is absolutely superb. It's pin sharp, beautiful scan lines, really nice color reproduction. And the cable itself is proper thick and the, the connections are ridiculous. They're so heavy and really nicely molded with the Ixus logo on top. Uh, yeah, I'm a bit of a sucker for a nice looking cable. I know it's kind of pointless because everyone will say, well, you know, when you connect it to the switch and you connect it to the back of the TV, you're not really gonna see it, which is true, but I just like a nice looking cable. I've always been like that. So that's those consoles and that's how I've got those set up and obviously the Amiga computer as well. Uh, very happy with that setup. On the other side of the room for the Xbox and the PS3, PS3 standard, HDMI into the sound system, and then a HDMI out into the TV, dead simple. The Xbox, however, is a bit different, and that is a soft modded Xbox now, so it can output HD resolutions. Now, most games will output a 480p. I believe there are some games that do 720p, and I think there's one or two that might do 1080p, but for the most part, you're getting 480p from the majority of the games and it makes a massive difference. It really does, the, the picture looks incredibly sharp. Uh, it really does make the games look great. Now in order to do that, you need to buy a official HD pack, which was only released in America, so a bit of a pain in the ass to get hold of. I did get lucky last year, picked one up for 30 quid from a place in London who was selling them on eBay, thank God. And that just connects to the back of the Xbox. You then have a component output from that, which you connect your cable to. I've got a QED component cable attached from there to the TV. And it also has red and white RCA outputs for sound, or you can use optical, which is even nicer. So you get a nice digital sound, which I'm using, currently connected to the sound system, the Sony. So yeah, very happy with that. It's a great option. You can obviously buy a component cable that just plugs into the back of the Xbox. I've had one in the past. I'll be honest, I thought the quality was crap. So I went and hunted down the official HD pack, and it is well worth the money. I don't know how much they're selling for currently, you may have to go to ebay.com and buy one from America and import it, or if you're in America, even better, <laughs> you can just buy one. But if not, I would I would highly recommend laying the cash out, unless they're absolutely extortionate, because everything's going up at the moment. 
But yes, that's how I've got everything set up and you know, very happy with everything at the moment. It's just, yeah, just nicely done. But let me know guys, let me know in the comments below. What, have you, what are you using? Have you got your console connected with video and audio? Are you using stereos? Do you just have it connected to the TV? What kind of TV are you using? CRT or LCD, plasma? You know, does any of this bother you or are you just not bothered as long as you can put it on and play it? You know, and I'm sure there's a lot of people who don't care and just want to plug it in, play it, and really aren't asked if it's like crystal clear, pin sharp, scan lined RGB, or if it's just an RF connection as long as I can play the game. And of course, if you do make videos, guys, please make video responses. I'd really love to see some video responses. It'd be nice to see a lot of videos from a lot of the guys that I'm friends with, as well as you know, all the other people that I'm subscribed to as well. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you found this video interesting, at least. Let me know your comments down below, and I'll see you in the next video.